Hello guys, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to fix Wi-Fi is not showing in a settings on Windows 11 PC or laptop. We are going to fix missing Wi-Fi issue on our Windows 11 PC or laptop. I am going to the here taskbar. On taskbar, I click it here in network and here we find there is no Wi-Fi or not any Wi-Fi network. This is our problem. I go to the also to the start, type settings. Click on the settings. In settings, I go to the network and internet. Click on the network and internet. In network and internet, go to the advanced network settings. And here we find in network adapter, there is no Wi-Fi or the wireless network, only ethernet, but there is no Wi-Fi. This is our problem. And we are going to fix this problem. I give the multiple solution to fix this problem. And I hope one of this solution is work for you. First solution is very simple. We check our problem with our hardware or the our problem with the our Windows 10 OS with hardware or network card or the wireless network or with the our Windows 10 operating system. That is the our first goal. Go to the start, type CMD, right click on the command prompt and click on run as an administrator. Run as an administrator is IMP. Click at here. Click on the yes. And here we find command prompt. In command prompt, type ping 127.1.1.1 and hit enter key and it's give a ping if ping is sent to 4 and received 4 and loss is 0 that means there is no problem with the our hardware or the network card our issue with the our windows 10 software and we are going to solve this in the next step next method is reset internet options go to the start Type control panel, click on the control panel. In control panel, find internet options. Click on the internet options. Scroll down. Here we find one options advanced, advanced tab. Go to the advanced tab. Here we find restore advanced settings. Click on the restore advanced settings. Click on the apply. Click on the OK. Click on the start. Go to the power button and restart your machine. Restart your machine is very IMP. After machine is restart, check our Wi-Fi connection is showing or not. If it is not showing, then go to the, our next solution. Our next solution is very simple. Go to the start, type services, type services and click on the services. Click on the services. In services, we find many things. Find WLAN auto config. Find WLAN auto config and make sure it is running in status. It is running and in startup type, it is automatic. These two are important running and automatic and right click on it go to the properties here we find many things in startup type if it's automatic manual or disable make sure it is automatic and make sure it start it is stopped paused or the resume then go to the start make sure it is on the start click on the apply make sure it start click on the start click on apply click on ok and make sure wlan auto config is running and automatic whenever your machine is start it is running and automatic on your pc then your wi-fi must be so go to the here close go to the start and go to the power button go to the restart after that restart your machine is very imp after machine is restart go to the taskbar and check our wi-fi is connected or not if it is not connected then go to the our next method our next method is very simple go to the start type control panel click on the control panel in control panel, find network and sharing center. Click on network and sharing center. In network and sharing center, we find change adapter settings. Click on change adapter settings. In change adapter settings, we find our all Wi-Fi and Ethernet connection. In any case, if any case your Wi-Fi is disabled, then enable it. Right click on it. Click on enable. It takes few minutes or few seconds. After that, go to the taskbar, internet. Here we find in no internet connection. Click at here. And here we find this time our Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi network, click at here and select the Wi-Fi that you want to connect. In any case, this Wi-Fi is connected or the enable, but it is not connecting to your Wi-Fi networks. Then right click on it, click on the disable. It takes few seconds. After that, once again, enable it, right click on it and click on enable. It also takes few minutes or few seconds. It's enable now. Go to the taskbar. Here we find internet, click at here 
and here we find our Wi-Fi network is now available. Click at here and select your Wi-Fi network that you want to connect and connect to your Wi-Fi. This is the, our simple method. If this method is also not work for you, then I show you another method. Next method is device manager. Right click on the, your start button. Right click on the start button. Click on the device manager. Click on the device manager. In device manager, expand network adapters expand network adapters here we find your wi-fi network or the wi-fi card your wi-fi device select the, your wi-fi device here we find two or three options in my case it's showing me many options in your case it show two or three options select your wireless network or wi-fi card right click on it right click on it and click on the update drivers here we find two options search automatically for drivers it is for the internet and our internet is not working condition then go to the browse my computer for drivers select click at that and here we find two options first is the uh, location and second is let me pick from the available drivers click on the last options here we find if you find two or three options then select any outdated version if two or three options two or three options is available at this point then select the backdated drivers any backdated drivers then select that backdated drivers backdated drivers are 110 percent work with the our wi-fi connection or the our wi-fi adapter or the our wi-fi dongle select the backdated drivers select that click on the next it's install your drivers it takes few seconds okay now it's install close it and go to the here our task manager, our taskbar, select this and here we find our Wi-Fi is available. If any case your Wi-Fi is not available, then next option is go to the once again network adapter, right click on the your adapter and this time go to the properties, click on the properties. In properties, go to the power management. In power management, we find allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. To save power on your laptop, it's automatically off or disconnect your Wi-Fi. That is the problem of your, your machine or your PC. That's why uncheck it, uncheck it, uncheck this, click on OK and restart your machine and your problem is solved. But in any case, your problem is not solved, then I give the another solution. Another solution is very simple, right click on it and this time uninstall device. Click on the uninstall device, click on uninstall and uninstall completely uninstall your device and restart your machine after restart your machine windows 10 windows 11 is automatically detect your wi-fi wi drivers and it's automatically downloaded on your pc so i go to the start and go to the power button and restart my machine after machine is restart go to the start right click on the start go to the device manager in device manager go to the network adapters click on the network adapter expand network adapters and this time we find our this wireless neck LAN card or the wi-fi is automatically installed on our windows 11 pc or laptop close it go to your internet here we find our wi-fi connection is available on our pc if this method is also not work for you then i go to the next method next method is network reset go to the start type settings click on the settings in settings click on the network and internet click on the network and internet scroll down here scroll down and find advanced network settings click on advanced network settings in advanced network settings scroll down and here we find network reset click on the network reset if you click on this reset now it's reset your all networks all adapter ethernet adapters wi-fi connection wi-fi wi-fi adapters it's reset everything about network it's reset all network connection i click on the reset now yes i want it's asked then click on the yes and it's re restart or the shutdown your pc in five minutes close it close this and you can manually reset or uh, restart your machine start go to the start shut down or power button and click on restart or the shutdown i go to the restart after restart your all ethernet connections and wi-fi connection are reset and start as a fresh go to the taskbar here click on the internet and go to the here here we find our wi-fi go to your wi-fi and connect to your wi-fi and if in any case this method is not also work for you then i give the another method next method is fix network socket error or reset ipv4 on your pc or laptop go to the start type cmd right click on the command prompt 
click on the run as administrator run as administrator is very IMP click on the yes here type some command I give this all command in the YouTube description copy and paste this command first command is n-e-t-s-h space winsock s-o-c-k reset and hit enter key it is successful it's reset the next command is I copy and paste this command n-e-t-s-h space int space ip reset space reset log dot text and hit enter key it's all okay means our commands are successful and it's reset ip4 on your pc here click at here and reset or the restart our pc go to the start go to the power button and restart our machine after restart check your wi-fi working or not if it's not working then i give the another solution if this all method is not work for you, then I give the another method. Another method is go to the any another PC that has a working internet. Go to the any another PC and I go to the Google Chrome. You can go to the anywhere and type your Wi-Fi name or your motherboard name or the your PC or laptop name and search for the your Wi-Fi drivers. Wi-Fi drivers or Wi-Fi adapter drivers. Search for the your Wi-Fi drivers. In this case, for example, I search for the SS network adapter drivers. Find your network adapter drivers and click on the enter button. In this case, I am searching for the SS network adapter drivers. Go to your website. Search for your website. Accept or cancel it. And here, type your model number in model number type your model number find your model number code the your model number in this case i search for the genbook 14 ux425 search for it and here we find driver and utility go to your drivers here we find many things cancel it scroll down and here we find network intel wla wlan drivers click on download and here we find at the top we find our download started it takes few minutes or few seconds depending on the verb size in this case it is completed in few seconds click at here click on the download and copy this copy these drivers to your pc to or your original pc that has a problem copy this to your pc and install on your pc and your problem is solved i close it i minimize it or close it and if this all methods is not work for you, then I give the another last method. Our last method is also very simple. So let's go to our last method. Go to the start, click on the start and here type system configuration, type system configuration and click on the system configuration. In system configuration, click on the services, click on the services. In services, here we find enable all, click on the enable all, it's enable or select all, then click on the apply, click on the OK. It's asked for the restart. I want to restart. So I click on the restart. After machine is restart, check our Wi-Fi connection is working or not. Go to here, internet access, click at here. Here we find Wi-Fi. Click on this Wi-Fi connection. Manage your Wi-Fi connection. Select your connection that you want to connect. I connect, want, I want to connect this. Click on this, connect, click on connect. It's take few minutes. Add your password and it's connect to your Wi-Fi. So guys, this is the simplest way to fix many Wi-Fi issue or not showing Wi-Fi issue or missing Wi-Fi issue in Windows 11 PC or laptop. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys.